Hey hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Conchinsula, and welcome to today's Pokemon Go Deep Dive video. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new legendaries that were added to Pokemon Go, and they are of course the Galarian versions of the legendary birds. All three of these legendary Pokemon are strong in their own right, but unfortunately some of them are going to fall off compared to their counterparts with the same typing. I'm going to be talking about all of this in today's video, so let's roll the intro and get right into it. Okay, so let's get right into it. So, Niantic introduced the Galarian Legendary Birds into Pokemon Go, and it was through the free daily adventure incense that you could use every single day. Of course, this is not something that every single player had right away, considering that it was a slow rollout, and on top of that, there was no guarantee that you would ever come across any of these birds, considering that they are extremely rare as spawns. And then on top of all of that, it is extremely difficult to catch any of these legendaries considering that they have a really low base catch rate, but also an extremely high flea rate. So if you're not lucky enough to catch it on the first throw, there is a very high likelihood that it will run away. But if you are lucky enough to catch any of these legendary birds, then you are holding on to a pretty awesome collector's item. Unfortunately, there really isn't much that you could do with these legendary birds, considering that most of them will get outclassed by other Pokemon of the same typing. So let's deep dive into each of these birds right now. First and foremost, let's talk about Galarian Articuno. First and foremost, Galarian Articuno is very different from the Kanto version of this Pokemon in that it is not an Ice type and Flying type Pokemon, but it is a Psychic type and Flying type Pokemon. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, is this Pokemon any better than Lugia, considering that Lugia is the absolute best of that type combination? Well, unfortunately, it is not. Articuno does kind of fall by the wayside, mainly because it doesn't necessarily have the best moveset that would actually push it over Lugia in terms of raid damage or PvP. And one of the big notable differences is, of course, Galarian Articuno's lack of some decent bulk. It doesn't have that high of a stamina stat compared to Lugia, and the defense stat is not necessarily top tier. It does, however, have a pretty decent attack stat of 250, so if you're lacking in a good Psychic type or Flying type, this could still be a pretty good option. Now just like Lugia, it will have the same weaknesses and resistances, it's going to be weak against Dark types, Electric types, Ghost types, Ice types, and Rock types, and it's going to have resistances to Fighting types, Ground types, Grass types, and Psychic types, and then in terms of Fighting types and Ground type attacks, it's going to have a double resistance, so this is a good Pokemon to use if you're going up against a Fighting type or a Ground type. In terms of its move pull, it can come with the fast attack Psycho Cut or Confusion, and in terms of the charge attacks, it can come with Brave Bird, Future Sight, or Ancient Power. Out of all of these moves, Confusion is going to be the better fast move considering the high energy gain and the high DPS, and then for the charge attacks, I would go with a combination of Brave Bird and Future Sight that's going to allow you to deal the most damage, but for PvP, I would actually switch out Future Sight for Ancient Power considering that you're going to have a much better time baiting out shields and you have the possibility of buffing up Articuno whenever you use this move. But speaking of which, unfortunately Galarian Articuno does get outclassed by Lugia in pretty much every single league in the Go Battle League, and then when it comes to the Great League, if you are lucky enough to get one under 1500 CP, there's still going to be better options out there that have the Flying Typing or the Psychic Typing, so unfortunately this Pokemon really doesn't have too many uses within Pokemon Go. So yeah, with that said, let's move on to the next Galarian Legendary Bird, and this time we're going to talk about Moltres. Now among the Kanto Legendary Birds, Moltres is the absolute best out of those three, but it is actually the worst out of the Galarian versions of this bird trio. Galarian Moltres doesn't have the fire typing, but instead it is going to be a dark type and flying type combo, and unfortunately, it's not going to be great among all of the Pokemon of either of these typings. 
The real issue with Galarian Moltres is, of course, its stats. Unlike the Kanto version of this Pokemon, it actually is completely flipped. It has a lower attack stat compared to other legendary birds, and then of course it has a much higher defense stat compared to all of the other legendary birds. The base stats of Galarian Moltres is 202 attack, 231 defense, and 207 stamina. Overall, these are pretty well-rounded, and the high defense stat makes this Pokemon actually pretty bulky. But unfortunately, bulk is not going to make up for the lack of damage that this Pokemon can deal, especially because the move set is actually not as strong as other dark types and flying types. Galarian Moltres can have the fast moves Sucker Punch and Wing Attack, and the Charge Attacks Brave Bird, Payback, and Ancient Power. Out of all of these, I would go with Wing Attack for its fast moves, and then for the Charge Attacks, I would go with Brave Bird and Payback. Unfortunately, there really is nowhere this Pokemon is going to be useful. Maybe you could use this Pokemon as kind of an anchor for your raid party, but other than that, it's not necessarily any good in any aspect of Pokemon Go. You would kind of think that this Pokemon would be useful for the Go Battle League because of its bulk, but unfortunately, it's going to get outclassed by a lot of other Dark types and Flying types that are readily available that are not even legendary. Plus, I think this Pokemon gets outclassed by one specific legendary, and that is of course Yveltal. That Pokemon has the same exact typing, and it's going to be stronger than Galarian Moltres in just about every aspect. So, unfortunately, for people who are fans of this Pokemon, it's not necessarily going to be useful at all. So, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about that. Alright, and finally, let's talk about a Galarian Legendary Bird that actually is useful, and it is going to be Galarian Zapdos. Now, much like the other Galarian Legendary Birds, this Pokemon does not share the same typing as the Kanto version, but it's going to have the type combination of Fighting and Flying. The base stats of this Pokemon is actually where it gains its relevance. It has an attack stat of 252, a defense stat of 189, and a stamina stat of 207. Just by looking at this, you could already tell that Galarian Zapdos has really high attack stats and a little bit of a lower defense stat, which kind of makes it a glass cannon, very reminiscent of the Kanto version of Moltres. This is the one Pokemon that you will likely use in raid battles and even in PvP. There's just a lot of potential for this Pokemon to dish out a lot of damage, especially because it does have a fairly decent moveset. Galarian Zapdos only comes with one potential fast move, and that is of course Counter, but among its charge attacks, it could come with Brave Bird, Close Combat, and Ancient Power. Now, out of all of these charge attacks, Brave Bird and Close Combat are probably going to be the most ideal considering they benefit from Stab, but Ancient Power is also a pretty decent move for some type coverage in PvP. For sure, I would try to use Brave Bird considering the high amount of damage that that move deals, but if you're looking for a decent fighting type, I would go with Close Combat. Unfortunately, as a fighting type, it does get outclassed by pretty much every other fighting type out there, considering that both Conkeldor and Machamp have the Charge Attack Dynamic Punch, which is going to be far superior to Close Combat. And then of course with Lucario, it has a comparable move in Aura Sphere, therefore as a fighting type Type attacker, Galarian Zapdos is more like an A plus tier Pokemon as opposed to an S tier Pokemon. But do not let that defer you from trying to get this Pokemon, it's still pretty good considering it does have that flying type dual typing, which means you're going to have a lot of possibilities for using this Pokemon in both PvP and raid battles, and that is something you should definitely not ignore. Overall, I'm pretty excited that all three of these Pokemon have been added into Pokemon Go. It's just kind of unfortunate that they actually are not top tier. It's been a while since Niantic introduced a Pokemon that actually has some significant relevance in both raiding and PvP. But unfortunately, the Galarian Legendary Birds are not that. They are more of a collector's item at this point, unless until they give them better moves. For example, Galarian Zapdos would become instantly one of the top tier fighting type Pokemon if it were to get Dynamic Punch, but unfortunately, because it doesn't have that move, it's kind of a lackluster fighting type Pokemon. But as a flying type, there's some pretty good options within three of these birds, but I would say that they're going to be filler Pokemon, at least until you get yourself a really high IV of a Pokemon like Moltres or Rayquaza. But until you get one of those Pokemon, you should consider 
consider going after any of these Pokemon considering that they are essentially free, at least until they are released in raid battles, and if they are, I would probably say they are worth just going one and done. But in any case, yeah, this was my deep dive video on the three Galarian Legendary Birds. Of course, these Pokemon were recently introduced, so there really isn't too many cases where a lot of people have tested them out in PvP or in raid battles. So, I would love to know your thoughts regarding these three Legendary Birds down below. Have you tried out any of these Pokemon? Are you one of the lucky few that have actually caught any of these Pokemon? Definitely let me know down below and let's have a great discussion. And if you ended up enjoying this video and found it to be helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget to click that little bell so you stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, then do consider checking out the links in the description below. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Count Jensela. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.